In this session, we will look at decimals and fractions. A decimal is a number that lies between two whole numbers, defined by some digits after the decimal point. For example, 1.5 lies between 1 and 2. 1.75 also lies between 1 and 2. Please note that the digits after the decimal point are always read separately. Hence, it is not 1.75, it is 1.75. Decimals are widely used in finance, accounting and banking. Hence, this topic is tested by the IVPS exam. We will now look at some key concepts in decimals. Decimal addition, decimal multiplication and scientific notations. Decimal addition. Decimal addition is like adding any two numbers. Let's take an example. 23.4 plus 4.87 plus 1.03. Arrange the numbers such that the decimal points are below each other. Now add them like you would add any other number. Similarly, for subtraction 2. Decimal multiplication. Let's take an example. Calculate 23.4 into 4.87. Ignore the decimal point and multiply the two numbers. 234 into 487 is equal to 113958. Count the total number of digits after the decimal. 23.4 has one digit and 4.87 has two digits. So there are a total of three digits. Place the decimal before three places from the right. So the answer is 113.958. Scientific notation. A number written in the scientific notation is written as the product of a number between 1 and 10 and a power of 10. For example, 487. 487 can be written as 4.87 into 10 to the power of 2. Please note that the decimal has been placed at two places from the right. Therefore, the power of 10 is plus 2. The number of places that the decimal shifts determines the power of 10. When the decimal shifts from right to left, the power of 10 is positive. 0 0.0487 can also be written as 4.87 into 10 to the power of minus 2. Here, the decimal has shifted from left to right and therefore the negative power. The decimal has shifted by two places and therefore the power of 10 is minus 2. What is a fraction? A fraction denotes a share or a portion of a whole. For example, half, one-fourth, three-fourth, etc. The top half is called the numerator. The bottom half is called the denominator. The fraction is represented as the numerator by the denominator. The numerator is the number of parts that you have and the denominator is the total number of parts. Mixed fractions. A proper fraction is always less than one. That is, the numerator is less than the denominator. For example, one by four 17 by 59, etc. A fraction where the numerator is greater than the denominator is called an improper fraction. An improper fraction can also be expressed as a mixed fraction. A mixed fraction is a whole number combined with a fraction. For example, 4 1 by 4, 1 1 by 6, etc. Let us look at how to convert mixed fraction into improper fractions. Let's take the example 4, 2 by 3. We multiply the whole number, which is 4, by the denominator 3. 4 into 3 is equal to 12. We add this product to the numerator 2. So 12 plus 2 is equal to 14. The sum is the new numerator. Therefore, the fraction is 4, 14 by 3. Converting improper fractions to mixed fractions. Divide the numerator by the denominator. The quotient is the whole number. So 14 by 3 is equal to 4. 4 is the quotient and 4 is the whole number. The remainder is the new numerator. 
So 4, 2 by 3 is a mixed fraction. Let us look at some key concepts in fraction. Addition of fractions, multiplication of fractions, division of fractions, comparing two fractions, and conversion of decimals into fractions. Addition of fractions. Let us take an example. Calculate 1 by 2 plus 5 by 8. First, we need to calculate the LCM of the denominators. The lowest common multiple of 2 and 8 is 8. Now, we rationalize the numerator. So, 2 into 4 is equal to 8. Therefore, we multiply the numerator of 1 by 2 by 4. 8 into 1 is equal to 8. So, we multiply the numerator of 5 by 8 by 1. Therefore, the new numerators are 1 into 4 is 4 and 5 into 1 is 5. The new fractions therefore are 4 by 8 and 5 by 8. Now, we just need to add the numerators. The sum of fraction therefore is 4 plus 5 whole divided by 8, which is equal to 11 by 8. Multiplication of fractions. Let us take an example. 1 by 2 into 2 by 5. Multiply the numerators, that is 1 and 2, which is equal to 2, and multiply the denominators, 2 and 5, which is equal to 10. The new fraction, therefore, is 2 by 10. We now simplify the fractions by removing the common factors. 2 by 10 simplifies to 1 by 5. The common factor here is 2. Division of fractions. Let's take an example. 1 by 2 divided by 3 by 5. We invert the second fraction, that is 3 by 5 becomes 5 by 3 and then we multiply it by the first fraction. So 1 by 2 into 5 by 3 is equal to 5 by 6. Comparing two fractions, let's take an example, which is greater 2 by 3 or 1 by 2. Use the LCM of the denominators to write equivalent fractions with common denominator. LCM of 2 and 3 is 6. Rationalize the numerator as we did in addition of two fractions. Therefore, the new fractions are 4 by 6 and 3 by 6. Compare the numerators of the new fractions. The larger fraction is the one with the greater numerator. Since 4 is greater than 3, 4 by 6 is greater than 3 by 6 or 2 by 3 is greater than 1 by 2. Conversion of decimals into fractions. Let's take an example. Write 0 0.05 as a fraction. 0 0.05 can be written as 5 divided by 100. Simplifying the fraction we get 1 by 20. Therefore, the fraction equivalent of 0 0.05 is 1 by 20.